double. I'm gonna try for 3100 on this clue. Boris Karloff, Christopher Lee, and Peter Sellers all played this oriental villain. Boris Karloff, Christopher Lee, and Peter Sellers. Where's Dracula? Dracula? Yes. All right. Who is Dracula? It's not Dracula. What? It's Fu Manchu. Holy <laughs> Oh, man. Well, that's okay. That's all right. That's okay. I'm still in the lead. That's all right. Scotland, cats, Dorfmans, fairy tales, and kid stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, cats 200. On cats, they're retractable. On dogs, they're not. What are tails? Robo missed a clue about Christopher Lee. And now for our feature presentation. Thank you. And I'm all set to go for the next birthday special for February. Been having a good time doing these birthday specials, so let's keep it going. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. Alright, let's play Jeopardy on the PlayStation 2. Let's have a good game. And let's win. What do you think, Tiger? Are we going to win? From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. Only the very best players are invited to participate. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. I'm ready, Alex. We've got some really interesting first round categories for you today. Let's take a look. Let's do it. Oh, good one. Tom Cruise films. I know quite a few of them. Uh-uh. That old black magic. <clears throat> Name that novel. To protect. 
Playboy bunnies. And to conclude, judge not. Player one will begin with you. Uh, judge not, 200. A cutting criticism or a violent closing of a door. It was a slam. Precisely. Pick again. Proverbially, to express contempt, you thumb this body part. What is your nose? Right. As a verb, it's to disparage strongly. As a noun, it's rubbish or garbage. What is trash? Correct. Pick again. From the Latin for to scatter, these calumnious expressions are cast on others. What are aspersions? That's correct. Player three, you choose. To protect for 200. This service is best known for protecting the president, but also investigates forgery. It's a secret service. Yes, indeed. Over to you, player one. To protect your great American novel, register a copyright with this library. What's the Library of Congress? Right. From the Greek for vapor, this planet protector contains the tropo, strato, meso, and thermo layers. What is the atmosphere? Right, right. pick again. Yeah. Answer, the Daily Double. Oh, let's go for it. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. From DuPont, this para-aramid fiber is used in bulletproof vests, tires, and the space shuttle. Fest, tires, and the space shuttle. Oh, gosh. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't remember. Good guess, but no. What we were looking for was this. Kevlar! Okay. We'll have to bounce back. Oliver Cromwell guarded England as a virtual dictator under this official title from 1653 to 1658. What is Lord Protector? Right. Player three, you choose. Name that novel for 200. Before I left the castle, I so fixed its entrances that never more can the Count enter there undead. What is Dracula? You bet. Player one, it's your turn. Four legs good, two legs bad. Zamal farm. That's it. Hey, you're still up, player one. I have told you, reader, that I had learned to love Mr. Rochester. I could not unlove him now. What is Pride and Prejudice? No. What is Jen Eyre? Right, pick again. Lenny said, I might just as well go away. George ain't gonna let me tend no rabbits now. What is of uh, Mice and Men? 
Yes! What a pretty little Nell, cried Quill. What is the old curiosity shop? Hey, you got it. Player three, it's your turn. Let's try Playboy Bunnies for 200. When she became a bunny in 1963, Mary Hutton changed her name to this after her father, Lawrence. What is Lauren Hutton? Correct. Over to you, player one. She was a bunny before she was blondie. Here's your clue. Take a look. Who is Deborah Harry? Well done, yes. Your choice, player two. That old black magic for 200. It's the casino game in which you would hear someone say, Hit me. What is blackjack? Definitely. Over to you, player one. This spider is particularly hard on her mates. What's a black widow spider? Very good. The Green Hornet's car, or Anna Sewell's horse. What is black beauty? That's it. Early in his career, Burt Reynolds played Quint Asper, one of these on Gunsmoke. What is a blacksmith? That's it. Yo ho, yo ho. This pirate's real name was believed to be Edward Teach. Who is Blackbeard? Very good. You pick again. From Old Norse for grin scornfully, you may do it over your enemy's misfortunes. What is gloat? Exactly. A bunny at age 18, Jacqueline Zeman has worked on this show that's featured Luke and Laura. Uh, what is General Hospital? Right. Make no Ms. Take. She donned the ears in 1963 as a journalistic assignment for Show Magazine. Who is Laura Steinem? Right, pick again. Working her way through college as Bunny Sue, she's also played Dharma's mother-in-law. Who is Susan Sullivan? Right. Your choice, player two. Tom Cruise films for 200. Tom had us at hello as the title sports agent in this 1996 film. What is Jerry Maguire? That's correct. Player one, what'll it be now? 
Tom starred with Penelope Cruz in this 2001 flick. What is Vanilla Sky? Precisely. Pick again. Tom Cruise starred as professional spy Ethan Hunt in this 1996 film and its sequel. What is Mission Impossible? Correct. In a 1992 film, this actor told Tom, you can't handle the truth. Who is Jack Nicholson? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Very powerful line there, if you ask me. That's correct. From a really good movie, too, A Few Good Men. Last clue. And to wrap this board up... Leonard Maltin said the cliches in this 1990 action drama gave new meaning to the term Formula One. What is Days of Thunder? Hey, you're correct. All right, that brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's see how our players are doing. Bravo, player one. You're all alone in first place. $10,600, $1,400 for player two, $2,800 for player three. Double Jeopardy coming up. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. There are two daily doubles for you on this board, so let's get started. And now, the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Dating 101. Second place. Give me the number. Iraq. Music appreciation. And to conclude, 19th century America. Off we go, player two. Give me the number for 400. The sum of the whole numbers from one to five. What is 15? Yes. Player one, what'll it be now? It's the number of bishops on the board seen here at the start of a game. Here's your clue. Take a look. What's four? Yes. Total of the horsemen of the apocalypse plus the traditional number of magi in Matthew's gospel. What's seven? Hey, you got it. The number of points on a compass or the number of permanent teeth in the normal adult mouth. What is 32? Right, pick again. Ronald Reagan is the 40th president, and William Jefferson Clinton is this number. What is 42nd? Right you are. Ask a friend to set you up with one of his acquaintances for this kind of date. A seeing eye dog is not required. What's a blind date? Correct. If you meet someone online, it's a good idea to make your first date this type with another couple. What's a double date? Correct. Pick again. Emily Post recommends that you ask for a date to this senior year dance at least a month in advance. What is a prom? Yes. 
Very good. You pick again. The girl code says the way your date treats this restaurant employee is how he'll treat you in six months. What's a waiter? Right. Title of an Ellen Fine Sherry Schneider book. Number 28 says, not to act like a boy around a boy you like. What is the rules? Yes. If you would, player three. 19th century America for 400. On February 6, 1899, the Senate ratified the Treaty of Paris, ending this conflict. What is the Spanish-American uh, War? Right. Player one, it's your turn. He served as governor of the Utah Territory until President Buchanan removed him in 1857. Who's Brigham Young? That's it. In 1888, this suffragette organized the International Council of Women. Who's Susan B. Anthony? Yes. Answer, the Daily Double. I'm going to try... Player one, one please make your wager dollars. now. Here's the clue. <laughs> to extend his influence over the Pacific Northwest, he founded the Pacific Fur Company in 1810. Pick Lewis Henry Hudson. No, I don't know. That is incorrect. What we were looking for was this John Jacob Astor. Okay, so I dropped down quite a bit. His flagship, the Lawrence, was destroyed by British gunfire September 10, 1813. Who was Oliver Hazard Perry? Exactly. Player two, you choose. Music appreciation for 400. How Time Flies, August 16, 1997, was the 20th anniversary of his untimely death. Who is Elvis Presley? That's right. Player one. He performed with Crosby, Stills, and Nash in 1970 and with Pearl Jam 25 years later. Was Neil Young? Exactly. Of Shogun, King Rat, or Taipan, the James Clavell novel that became a musical in 1990. What is Taipan? No. What is Shogun? Right. Answer? The Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. 11,600? Okay, here's the clue. This sparkly singer wrote, You are the sun, I am the moon. You are the words, I am the tune. Play me. Who is Neil Diamond? Correct. Take a game. Have I told you lately 
A 1993 top 10 hit for this singer was written by Van Morrison. Who's Rod Stewart? Yes! This man seen here attended Cairo Law School in 1962 and 1963 while in exile. Here's your clue. Take a look. Who is Saddam Hussein? Right you are. During the Gulf War, foreign journalists used this city's Al Rashi Hotel as their base of operations. What is Baghdad? Right, pick again. The ancient Greeks gave the area between the Tigris and Euphrates this name, which means between rivers. What is Mesopotamia? Correct. Pick again. Living mostly way up north, they are Iraq's largest ethnic minority. We're the Kurds. Precisely. Pick again. The name of this Iraqi currency is derived from a Latin word for ten. What is a dinar? That's it. You're still in control of the board, player one. It's the second place award in an Olympic event. What is silver? Very good. You pick again. It was the second nation to put a man in space. What is the Soviet Union? Or what is Russia? Good guess, but no. What is the United States? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Player three, it's your turn. Second place for 1,200. South America's second largest country in area. It borders the largest. What is Argentina? Right. Player one. He had the second highest vote total in the 1996 U.S. presidential balloting. Who is Robert Dole? Yes. And to wrap this board up, Tenzing Norgay wasn't knighted after being the second man to stand on top of this famous mount. What is Mount Everest? Yes! That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores, shall we? Nice work, player one. You're in the lead right now. Crunch time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Famous names. Go ahead, make your wager. Here's the clue. Good luck. At this scuba pioneer's death in 1997, Jacques Chirac called him probably the best known Frenchman in the world. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was? Player two, I see that you like to live dangerously. But you're right. Way to go.
Your question, player three, was... Oh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Ooh. Player one, what was your question? Absolutely right. And your wager on that? Great effort, everyone. What a game. Congratulations to our winner, player one. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you?